Hey Sparkles, so welcome back to another video. As you can see today, we are going to be sort of exploring Little Simsy's save file. I've always wanted to use um, a save file, like download it from somebody else. So um, I'm just going to go in, straight in and have a look around. I think I don't have all the packs, so some of the items like won't show up. Um, but she has, here she is, and she has um, a description on her Tumblr, so I will link that down below. But it looks like we have so many households here, which I'm so excited to like have a peek at. And oh, I, I just feel like it's so much better when the world is so much more like fleshed out, if that makes sense. So let's just go through the worlds and like have a look. Oh my goodness. So she's literally filled every single lot, which is really cool. And it looks like she's done some updates to the uh, uh, sort of community lots down here as well, which is cool. On her Tumblr, she says um, that it includes 50 brand new lots, renovated versions of every EA community lot, renovated versions of the worst of the EA houses um, and then she said the iconic ones remain though <laughs> she said they also have 78 new families with skills careers relationships and stories so I think she's done like all the descriptions and everything for each of the families which is really cool looks like they've got a science center which is so cool I just feel like I just can't wait to play here and I think there's another bar as well the, I, the rattlesnake bar in my base game, it always glitches out for me. I don't know why, but I can't ever like interact with anybody. So hopefully that works. It might be to do with like the, the lot. So if she's renovated it, maybe it'll work for me now. But this is the Oasis Springs Dust Bowl, which is another bar, which sounds pretty cool. And she's obviously kept Johnny Zest and the land grabs. <laughs> but look at Newcrest. So she's literally filled Newcrest, which is, to be honest, I'm so happy about because I feel like as a simmer, it just takes ages to build every single lot of your Newcrest. So I was kind of thinking, I want to kind of build up a base game save file for myself as well. Um, but it would be so much easier to have sort of like somewhere to start. Um, I love this restaurant, Let Us Eat and Dave and Bowlers. It sounds so funny. And there's a public pool. I mean, I feel like this is, oh my gosh, a breadsticks. We have to go there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm so excited to check out all the families and things as well. I love that how this is a whole residential area, a whole community lot area, and then a bit of a mixed area as well. And there's also like a free lot here and there. Um, I kind of appreciate that because if you wanted to build, then you have the option to, but it's quite nice for me. I find, I do enjoy building, but I, I find like I have to do it in short bursts. Like I can't build every day. <laughs> I have to build like once in a while, otherwise I get sick of it. Um, but we also have some new buildings in Magnolia Promenade. Um, we've got like a coffee house, which I can definitely see myself going to a lot and a restaurant. I'm so excited to check that out. I feel like she's done some renovations to Windenburg as well, even though I think Windenburg uh, is pretty built up already, but it looks like she's renovated quite a lot of areas. Like the Von Holt estate definitely looks like it's been renovated. Um, and I think on the island for sure. Um, so yeah, kind of excited to check all these bits out when I when I start playing. I don't think in today's video I'm gonna do any proper gameplay, but I am gonna um, go into some households and see what their relationships are like and things um, a bit later on. So definitely look forward to that. Um, I wanna check out like each of the families. I feel like there must be so much sort of intertwined Simsy lore uh, that I wanna discover. Um, but we've also, got quite a few community lots in this area. I feel like there's a few more than usual. I don't know if I'm thinking that correctly, but I, I feel like there's definitely a few more coffee shops. Um, and it looks like she's renovated the park and the pool as well. It's definitely more of like a bustling, bustling community area. 
on she's renovated my shino meadows which is absolutely perfect i feel like i always glitch out at that at that park lot and it's always really bare so um it'll be cool to have a look at what she's done i feel like their old salt house is maybe a new restaurant um and i'm excited to check out the gallery later as well actually she's also got a rooftop cafe which sounds really cool um but yeah i feel like the gallery is kind of bare <laughs> or, or like sparse do i say that so um, i'm excited to see what she's done in her renovations we've got like a bunch of households so i think she's filled like every apartment i also have the chic street so this is where penny oh my gosh i gave her a little chihuahua i love that oh my god i love a little chihuahua that's so funny that suits penny so much <laughs> all that she's got like a divorcee as well like it's it adds a lot of just like interest so it says heather recently split from her husband and fled out to san my junior to pursue her career she hates that she left her kids behind but it's easier to forget all that stuff in her shiny new apartment with a shiny new boyfriend oh my goodness so um that's quite exciting so yeah there's just i feel like there's a lot more more story going on which is a lot of fun i don't know how much she's renovated in forgotten hollow oh it looks like she has filled the lots though because this is usually blank so that's a not as it seems lot a thorn lot um that's interesting and then of course the classic with Tories are still there she's also added a haunted harvest nightclub that's definitely new for sure so that could be fun and then i guess she's done some renovations to vlad's house kind of cool um i do enjoy playing with vampires so it might be cool to check that again uh looking at brindleton bay it seems like she's added a bunch of pets to the families and definitely filled this area up here grandma avery looks quite like a cool cool house um it reminds me of Grey's anatomy <laughs> um but she's also done the like hospital how cute and the Papa stone park and she's got a bunch of like big families i love that because i guess usually when you're like in in the game uh, as it comes, they they try to not have too many sims um, in a house at one time, but I just, I feel like in real life there are just so much more well-rounded families, so it's cool to have that, that, that realistic dynamic, I guess. Um, but she's also added like a coffee shop, I think, I'm pretty sure that's new, um, and this like Herrera family have a big mansion, which looks cool. Um, I wonder if she's updated the uh, the museum by the lighthouse at all. Oh, and she's added a library. Oh my goodness, that'll be so cool by the sea. A library by the sea with fast internet. Like, get me there right now. Get me there right now. <laughs> um, there's future vets. That sounds cool. Oh, is that the rest of the Avery family? Oh, that's cool. So you see, like, this is what I'm talking about, this lore. So that's the Avery family. And then there's also Grandma Avery's house down the road. And of course, we've kept the Delgatos as well. But that's so cool that there's a library. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> um, let's have a look at Del Sol Valley. I actually haven't played in this world at all, I think. I bought it uh, recently, so I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but um, I know that people always complain about the community lots, so it looks like she's definitely updated the community lots, which is really good. Um, I've heard horror stories about Studio PVP, is that what it's called? Um, <laughs> and then weird complex, but okay. Weird, no, weird plex, but okay. <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, and there's a singles, um bunch of houses which looks cool dude plex <laughs> sounds so funny and then she's done all the mansions up here as well so there's judith wards um bailey moons our celebrity home they look so massive even from the, the world map so exciting oh my goodness what does this say beauty guru charles gilmore is an internet sensation now his whole family is along for the ride they started a family vlog channel and you have a third child to boost their fame his quick rise to stardom has caused a long-standing rivalry with mega famous celebrity bowler tommy oaks but could that rivalry turn into something more what was once your typical suburban family has been thrown into the limelight let's hope it doesn't tear them apart <laughs> Oh my goodness, that sounds so much fun. Oh, there's a gym, that sounds so cool. That would be so good for the army people, that makes so much sense. So after Dima's parents went missing for a while whilst working for the military in Strangeville, she became obsessed with the mysteries surrounding their disappearance. 
now she's moved in with her boyfriend pretty cool and then we've got a park as well that's so good oh I feel like Strangerville was crying out for a park honestly I do love Solani I have played in Solani quite a lot so I feel like I'll be able to um, check out uh, the changes she's made. I'm so glad that she's renovated the sandbar. Oh my goodness because it's usually tiny But it looks massive now, which is great I'm also glad she kept the Ho'opili family because they're just iconic to be honest um, And she's got a new Islanders with a cute dog as well. I kind of want to check these guys out Marley is back from the city and wants to return to her roots on the island. Her childhood best friend Tua can't wait to get out of this place He's dreaming of moving somewhere bigger and better, but his family ties are keeping him here Oh my gosh, they're totally in love. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> you see, I'm so excited for all this lore. And there's the Kealoha family, Lava Man. <laughs> so funny with a tiny dog. Oh my gosh, I love him. We also have Brightchester. I think she said something about like she can't edit all the lots in Brightchester because of the university functionality or something. Um, but. Oh, I feel like the Honeydew nightclub is a new addition and I wonder if she's renovated the library as well. Okay, so this is Evergreen Harbour and at first off it seems like um, she's definitely kept the vibes of each area. The first thing I'm noticing is the quarry building. I always think that lot is kind of sparse so it's cool and she's also added some apartments up here which is really cool or at least definitely renovated them. Um, and these families look really cute. So there's the Moradi family and another family next door to them. There's also the Harrises in this household with a paper bag boy and the rustic Texans with a tiny little puppy, <laughs> which look funny. Um, but I'm so excited to check out these lots. This is Sprucewood Square, We've got Canal. Oh, so this is the basketball court that she was talking about that she added. So that sounds like so much fun. So it's basically just like a park lot with a massive basketball court. Oh, I'm so glad that we have that because like when you have kids as well like you just want to go to the park um, all the time and there's this Tinker family I hope that she's renovated this house okay because it's a bit of a, a, a narrowly shaped lot for such a big house um, we also have Yasui's and postgraduates that's an interesting idea um, but a lot of fun as well so kind of cool to check out all these bits it looks like she's definitely renovated the bar as well the caboose bar so excited to check that out this she's definitely built this up the mallory lot um so be cool and the waterfront oh that's cool so this is a reduce a, a maker space lot sorry oh and she's given best like a boyfriend <laughs> This is so exciting. <laughs> so, because I think Bess was originally in there on her own. So it says, Bess and Jules are a power couple with big dreams. Big dreams about sweet, sweet money. <laughs> As the world designer by trade, Bess places herself in the perfect position to convince city officials and residents alike to enact programs that would benefit her bottom line. Her partner in crime, Jules, is a style influencer that loves fashion as much as he loves convincing people to buy his rejected styles. <laughs> Together, they hustle around Evergreen Harbour like a whirlwind. Wow, this is exciting. Oh, I really want to play with these guys but it also looks like she's done like a community garden lot a maker space lot and like a, a seller a seller's lot is that what it's called um so that's really cool I don't know if she's um renovated comma Rebbe or not um because I don't know when when she updated this um this save file last. I presume it was after Evergreen Harbour. And I think Hedford and Pombagli came out like pretty recently, so I don't think she will have renovated this. Yeah, it kind of looks the same, I think, as it, it is when you get it. So I don't think this has like any new lots in it. That's all the packs I have anyway. <laughs> um, I wonder if she's done, she's probably done some updates to stuff like Realm of Magic, because I really want that pack, but I just, I just haven't got around to getting it yet. Um, I always wait for the sales and stuff, just because it's it's better to save your money um, and not spend crazy, too much crazy amounts on um, The Sims. But I'm going to go back into some of the worlds and like actually go into the gameplay and check out some of the families now. So um, if you're not interested in that, feel free to click away, but um, I'm just going to check out. I'm, I'm really curious, so I'm going to check out some of the families. 
I think I'm gonna pop into the Arnold's house and see. But this is the house as well. I'll press play actually so we can see them interacting and stuff. Looks like the toddler is hanging out outside, <laughs> which is quite funny. But this is what the house is looking like um, from the outside. I love the way that it looks so like it, it just fits in with the environment so much better like it fits in with the houses across the street as well and they've got a lovely big garden too like i feel like this lot is massive um and it really blends into the surroundings really well um and i guess that's a lot that she's built as well across the street um but let's go in and have a look at the renovations that she's done to the house so this is the um, lounge area. This is Megan and she's part of the soccer club which is really cool that they're part of clubs and things. Um, and then this is like the dining room area and kitchen. Just quite simple stuff but I feel like the layout also makes sense. Like why? Why do base games um, sims stuff? Oh he's in the coffee club. That's exciting. Uh, sorry so uh, I feel like a lot of the base game stuff um, just doesn't make sense. Oh, that kid's part of the bookworms and the geeky gamers clubs. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, this day definitely makes a lot more sense in terms of layout. I feel like she has a very sensible layout um, in all of her builds, which is really good. Um, but it's cool to see that these guys are like part of clubs and stuff as well. I feel like you enter into the house and they're already like a fully functioning family, which is like, if that's like something that you really like in gameplay, I would definitely recommend um, this file. Like, cause sometimes you don't want to like have to create a new family and things. You just want to be able to just start playing. And I think that is something that Simsy sort of allows for in her, in her save file. I might check out the uh, dust bowl. Uh, so this is something that's uh, got items missing because I don't have some of the packs. So I don't know which pack. I feel like I have quite a lot of the early packs, but I don't know which pack. It might, oh, it might be the bowling. Oh, it's meant to be like a bowling ring maybe. So maybe because I don't have the bowling pack, um, it's a bit empty. <laughs> but, uh, oh, so it's like defaulted it to a bar maybe. Oh, I see that makes sense. So yeah, so stuff like that, I suppose, won't be included if you don't have the bowling pack. Um, I think the bowling pack is supposed to have some quite nice stuff in it, but like, I don't know, I don't really go, go bowling that often in my real life anyway, so I'm not that fussed about it. Um, but I want to check out the science centre as well, that's definitely a new addition in this save file. Future past science centre. Immediately I'm thinking how cool this looks. Oh, and there's a um, observatory as well, like a telescope. This looks so cool. I'm really, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm gonna bring my Sims here all the time. And I feel like it goes with the surroundings as well because it's like a kid's play area. So there's like a bunch of stuff for like kids to do. If you were to like come here with your kids. Oh, it looks so, like there's so much going on. I love it. And we've got like the projects on display. We've got a bunch of like libraries and cute stickers and stuff. Um, I think those are from a snowy escape so she must have renovated the Mount Coma Rebbe world actually but she's got a cool statue and then coming downstairs like there's like a coffee area as well for like people to get coffee when they're not doing science like how cool is that we've also got some frogs and stuff and slugs on display it looks like um which is a lot of fun I love looking at the frogs um and also in easel is that what that's called oh, i always forget i'm so bad with those sort of words um but that is so cool like i think that's such a great addition to to the game and we've got this little play area around here as well which is awesome so it's not like your kids are ever going to get bored there's even like fishing if you come here as an adult and you're like yes 
fishing. Can kids fish? I think kids can fish as well, actually. Pretty cool. Um, but the park looks cool as well. Um, let's have a head over to Newcrest. I'm really excited to check out some of these new, completely brand new lots that she's created instead of like renovating. Um, I'm unsure, like, it's so much choice, like, I don't know what household to go into. I think I want to check out the Giordano family. So, it says they own the Shrieking Llama Diner. Art got control of the old family business and transformed it. He turned the bar into a cozy restaurant. His grandfather would have been proud. Or... <laughs> that's so funny. I love, like, the, uh, the backstories. Okay. At least you're done it. I guess that's the that's the house where they're, that they're in. So I'm gonna click somebody who's actually in the house. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I'm gonna apologize for Elise's hair. I do not have it. She's probably not meant to be bald. Um, Betsy has apparently acquired the motor skill, and there's also a toddler on the doorstep. But I think that happens <laughs> in a lot of places. Look how great this house looks, though. It fits in so well to the whole Newcrest vibe. There's just like cute houses everywhere. I mean, look at this place. I feel like it just looks so much more like perfect. Oh, I like Loki want to cry because I'm like this just fits in so well to the environment oh, I'm just like so it I don't know it makes me like so happy to just like have this world like available to me I don't know I guess I'm just grateful to Simzy but I think these are all sort of lots that she's renovated all next to each other so um they also have a pool in their back garden a bunch of trees and things oh it just looks like so much fun um so let's go in and check out the house oh, it looks so much like more bright as well than the base game like all the lights actually like work i don't know they, they're actually good lights um but here elise is playing with her little son and just like the kitchen the dining all the rooms i really like the color scheme in here there's like a sort of a purple and orangey kind of colour scheme going on which I really like Ugh. everybody just looks like they're having fun already and I'm not even like telling them what to do you know there's like even a keyboard here there's a piano upstairs this looks so cool so this Brent guy is just like playing some games in his room the, ugh, it just feels like so like I don't know, realistic? And there's like a little toddler bed up here. Oh, I feel like all is right with the world. <laughs> um, and they've got a lovely pool outside. I don't know, I guess this is just like inspiring me to actually have some like family gameplay, which would be really nice. I often do like sort of career, more career led stuff I guess with my sims and I do like having families as well but I feel like I enjoy it less because of the like toddler I'm not sure what scoring simoleons is but let's head away but um what was I saying oh yeah I, I, I sort of get overwhelmed sometimes with like toddlers and, and kids uh needs so um I don't always do sort of like family gameplay I'm more sort of career focused I guess even though I have like a legacy challenge um but uh this is sort of inspiring me to just like have a fun relaxing family gameplay i don't know and just enjoy the different like family life life lives i don't know how to explain it properly but <laughs> um i hope that you understood what i mean i don't know i'm just excited to play fa more family gameplay is what, I, what i'm saying i guess um but first of all i want to check out this new park it looks like there's a bit of a bandstand there's definitely some like there's a cute pond which looks so realistic and there's just like a little walkway some plants in the garden there's a pirate ship and it just looks so cute just like coming down here and there's like a bar and stuff to hang out at for everybody in the family it looks like some people have already been using it because there's uh, rubbish on the floor <laughs> um but I love the detail with the lights and everything. There's some monkey bars. Just all looks so great. A little swing set. 
and I love this because you can come to this lot and then there's like stuff to dig about and like all sorts of pathways and like a fishing spots nearby which is really fun and this is the sort of community lot row so there's these other ones over here that looks like a cool restaurant on the end I just love the colors as well like all the base game stuff tends to be just like the same boring like blue like it's like the worst shade of blue like <laughs> and blue is like my favorite color so um, I'm excited to check out this restaurant I think it's called let us eat which is funny <laughs> okay so this is what the restaurant looks like it's pretty cool it'd be so fun to come here in summer I really like the round little tiles that are going down the side to the, to the garden at the back I think it just looks so summery and I really want to bring my sims here you know <laughs> they've got some all fresh fresh herbs in the garden for, for the chefs that's exciting and there's like a little window a little skylight at the top how cute you see I could never build anything like this like I'm to be honest I think I'm okay at building but I'm not like amazing so um, it's cool to see like what other people do with their builds and like I feel like people are so inventive I just I love the layout of this restaurant as well it just makes so much more sense like it's simple but effective you know and really cute <laughs> we also have magnolia promenade and I definitely want to check out this little beans coffee house this new cafe Some of the items have been removed, hopefully not too much. I mean, it looks like maybe that was some wallpaper that was removed. Um, maybe some like bricks from the outside, but it looks really cute. And I feel like, oh, I feel like I love this world so much. It's such a shame that like there's so few, few lots because I feel like it could be, I don't know, it's sort of similar to New Chris, but it's more, um, more sort of like built up so it could be like a really cool in-between place to bring your sims um but yeah this looks really cute and there's like chess tables in the garden how cool is that so you can sit outside if you want to oh very excited to play here i feel like i i love coffee like little coffee shops where you can like go and gossip with your sims you know <laughs> so this seems like a really really good place to come and do that like it looks so cozy like yes this is the vibe this is the vibe and the bathroom there's like double doors in the bathroom oh this is really cool oh, you guys I'm excited I'm very excited to play here <laughs> if you can't tell already and there's an upstairs as well with just like a seating area and another coffee counter that's helpful that's really helpful I love when there's multiple floors to places because I think often I wonder on community lots sometimes a lot of sims spawn so sometimes it's good to get away from all the all the other sims you know um so i like when there's like multiple floors to cute coffee shops and places like that but how cool should we check out this green howl household so it says elizabeth and bailey have been together for years they've got one son a brand new baby bailey is an aspiring artist with a real talent for painting whilst elizabeth dreams of being a pro athlete their son just loves macaroni art <laughs> That's so funny. I love that. Okay, so apologies for the lack of clothes. <laughs> um, but this looks so cool. And she's like made it sort of sandy to blend in with the beach, which is really cool. I feel like this goes in so well with the environment. I'm not sure about the palm trees here, but um, I feel like it goes well in the environment apart from that. Like I definitely enjoy like the sand, the addition of the sand. Um, and it looks like there's another house nearby as well. I think this must technically be the back door as well because you've got a balcony and a back porch. Um, but it looks really cool. Let's go down and see the uh, how the floors look. Oh no, so it is the front door. So uh, these two are obviously very in love, which is great to see. Oh, I love their kitchen. It's definitely like, you know, got a bit of diagonal table going on but I actually love that I feel like it's kind of it makes it look lived in makes it look like higgledy piggledy and oh yeah they've got a baby um 
all looks very cozy and cute and there's like a little boys room here for their kid or well, I'll get I'll get the the sim to look after the baby <laughs> um, and then oh so this is the the little boy who loves macaroni art oh, there's a chess table in the corner that's pretty cool I don't know if they'll be able to actually use that but I mean let's have a go can he use that no he can't yeah he can't get in there can he sit on the chair no <laughs> so you can't really use that table which is kind of annoying I guess like some parts you can't really play test oh my gosh they're gonna take the the baby away so I'm gonna I'm gonna just run away from that situation <laughs> go back to manage worlds <laughs> oh yeah I wanted to check out the gallery let's let's have a look at um oh all the rooftop cafe let's go to the rooftop cafe first and then let's check out the gallery afterwards immediately this looks so cool oh my goodness I love the like lighting as well oh how cool does this look oh my goodness there's so much seating it looks so awesome imagine coming here with your friends like if this was a real place I'd want to come here all the time it looks like the place to go the city wow I, I actually love that she's kept the tall walls I think it looks pretty makes it look even more posh um, I don't know not posh necessarily but just like really cool <laughs> and there's like little paintings on the walls a little chess table when you come in that's really cute and they have a little seating area and back here it looks like there's a bathroom oh yeah so this is where the bathroom is behind the elevator which is kind of um behind the lift which is kind of like i think quite logical because that space is a bit awkward when I've, I've built on this lot before it's a bit awkward to have a space behind the lift um but i think she's used that quite well and there's a bunch of places to sit which is really handy because i feel like sims are always fighting for seats in coffee shops um but this place is massive i do wonder if there'll be a big queue for this little counter over here but um i guess we'll see um it might not spawn too many sims but oh there's computers as well if you want to come and work here oh that's so much fun oh i love that like imagine coming here with your like, university friends and just being like a study spot in the city like how cool it would it be to have like a city university because foxbury and and brightchester like are just definitely very like campus universities but like how cool it would it be would it be to have like a city university and to come to the city coffee shop you know with your friends and just study like <laughs> i don't know i'm getting excited about like new ideas for gameplay but it looks pretty cool let's check out what she's done differently okay so coming in there is a bit of a like reception area and a seating area and then there's a bunch of gallery um gallery walls and stuff there's like a coffee shop oh i guess like a bar area here oh and there's a bit outside where you can make a mural of your own if you want um, oh, and then it's sort of like the split level up onto the landing here and then this looks like a craft room They've got statues and like bits of clay to build which is pretty cool um, And then this looks like a painting room I feel like they had these sort of rooms before but she's just like filled them with a bit more clutter Which is definitely really helpful. Like I think it just looks so cool. I love this like what pack is this from? I love this like little stand the Feigl Fle Fle Flegel Studio Floor Lab? I have no idea what pack that's from, but how cool is that? Um, and I love like all the, just the details of the extra paintings and things. I think that's pretty cool. And there's pianos and stuff up here, keyboards, music room. I feel like this is just so much more fleshed out like I can imagine my sims coming here more often it just looks like even the wallpaper it's just nice to have like some wallpaper <laughs> do you know what I mean um but also up here there's like a photo studio oh my goodness I didn't even know I had these this pack I thought it was like the machino pack that had the photo studio but apparently I do have it how do I check like what pack it's from 
let's see where's that from is that get to work that that's from wow so i didn't even realize i had that how cool is that oh i love this i love discovering new things you see i, th I feel like that's maybe why i'm not that's maybe why i'm not the best builder because i don't really know like all the items that i actually have which is quite bad to say but you're very much encouraged to get all the packs of sims but then not really utilize them fully so i really want to like explore more let's let's have a look at this residential area so it says helena looks like a very sweet girl but she's actually a vicious blood-sucking vampire <laughs> so funny like so that sort of thing i just love um I'd be excited to uh, get started with gameplay. Let's check out Grandma Ivory. Oh, they've got two cats. Cat obsessed retired Dr. Barb raised her son Dane all on her own and now he's one of the most successful people in Brindleton Bay. He's grown out of the house and she couldn't bear to live alone. She adopted Lucille and they now live in the outskirts with their cats Gordon and Ramsey. Oh my goodness, I love that. I love that so much. Imagine calling your cats Gordon and Ramsey. <laughs> So I think she's n renamed this lot as well. It's called Widow's Watch. Um, but immediately there's a bunch of landscaping that I'm seeing, which I really love to see. Definitely helps it like feel like it's very lived in. It goes nicely with the environment. I like that she's gone for the gray, actually. The lighting on this lot is really nice. Um, is it like dark gray or black? But it looks really good that she's gone for like this mono monochrome look with the house. And it looks awesome straight away. There's like a double door balcony upstairs. It looks so cozy like this is definitely like a nice big house for grandma oh how cute does this look okay so going in there's like a whole bar in the kitchen wow and can't forget the cat bowls <laughs> um and then like a really nice dining area with like a rustic dining table going for a bit of a nautical theme i see <laughs> and then we also have bathroom, living room, and there's a grand piano here as well. Got a cute mirror over the fireplace. It's all very cozy. I really like this. I really like this. I can definitely see myself living on this lot and playing here. I think I lived on this lot previously when when it was like the first house I went to in my legacy challenge. Um, but I love to see what Simsy has done. With this because I made my house smaller but and, and then use like more of the garden and stuff but she's made her house bigger and it looks really cool you've even got like a, a chess table and like a painting area and I just want to add you know some fish to the to the uh, uh, what's it called a fish tank like just so much more to the gameplay I feel like red is a bold colour to go in this room, but do you know what? We love bold choices. <laughs> like the base game of Sims just doesn't doesn't do the same thing. I love this. Okay, great. Oh, and there's like an, an another room upstairs, is there? So there's like a bit of an attic, which is pretty cool. I guess you can put whatever you want there. Oh, the stairs are there. I didn't even see that. <laughs> I'm so oblivious. Okay that's really cool you can have barbecues on your on your back balcony and look out at the views you know oh, this is really great I just love Brindleton Bay I love this world so much I want to read the description for this weird plex but okay it says Vanessa Yong moved to Delsal Valley from her quaint country town she's looking to make it big as a rising actress she starred in a few low-level commercials but her agent always tells her she has what it takes just um, she just needs to find a breakthrough role. She's got a neighbour, Cameron Page, who hates fun, but certainly has fun hair. <laughs> she moved to the valley to try and make it as a style influencer. Very cool. I really want to check out the gym, actually. So I'm going to jump straight into here. I like that it fits in, like, it's not too tall of a building, so it, like, fits in with the height of the other buildings. I, I, I don't know if that's, like, a weird thing to point out, but... Um, I think she's like really thought about this carefully which is really nice to s just see some like care and thought put you being put into it so it looks like there's a bit of a reception area when you come through the front door and it looks like there's treadmills at the back and things um 
Oh, and there's, there's like a notice board and some snack fridges, which is pretty cool. I feel like you definitely need some snack fridges at the gym. <laughs> they always have at least one. Um, and then she's got those cool Stranger Bill the like um, workout machines, which is awesome. And there's also this like placard. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I feel like this is definitely a place where you could see a lot of the military bros like coming to hang out. Um, and it's, it's just nice to have more stuff like this in the environment. Like I'm always sending my um, sims to like the city or to Willow Creek gym. Um, or to the Oasis Springs gym uh, and it's just nice to have more community lots about that you don't have to build yourself because it takes a long time to build community lots to be honest especially because a lot of the like lot sizes are quite big let's let's pop in to lava man see what it says from lava to fire mana is your man he's born at one of the islands you learn enough to relax in the setting sun he happens to be a man of many talents if you know what i mean <laughs> oh my gosh i love that his dog has a shark outfit okay so this is called admiral's wreckage and immediately i'm like where is his house but it looks like it's it within within the ship this looks like so cool did she like I presume she got it from debug but oh cool so you can get down into here and it, there's like sand and like bits of boxes everywhere how cool is this and a bit of fire you know just to keep you warm <laughs> and there's like this steamer trunk whoa okay a couple of beds i mean if you have a friend around <laughs> and then it's just like a whole room of sand a bathroom kitchen all the basic bits that's pretty cool like it still looks like there's there's not much going on but it still looks like you've got what you need to live in uh in sulani oh he just went swimming fair fair play he must really enjoy swimming <laughs> um but it's cool to be right by the beach as well oh that's how you get in i didn't see the door because it was like blended in so well oh there it is <laughs> so cool and this is oh my gosh his dog's called baby shark oh my gosh no way that's so funny <laughs> oh, i love that i love that maybe let's look at the canal corner court with the the new basketball court okay my game seems to be taking a while to load now uh, which is interesting um, so hopefully it run it runs okay but this is what it looks like um, we've got a chess table some places to sit public bathroom and a fun court to play oh look there's even a um, little football and we've got a community board and things some nice trees um, so that looks pretty cute so this is a community garden lot oh i think i've been here before why do I think I've been here before? Oh, I think I downloaded this um, into my legacy challenge because I do have like an Evergreen Harbour series. Um, oh, look, that's a slightly different colour. <laughs> um, but yes, yes, I've definitely played here before. I think we went here for Atlas's birthday party. <laughs> so I have a sim called atlas and he came here for his birthday party he didn't really do any of the activities up here but you could literally do anything you want there's like a fizzing taste station um there's like a whole uh room for like crafting it's really cool that she has like the glass decorations up there as well um but yeah we like came into this room and we made a cake and we celebrated alice's birthday here so that's why i recognize it because <laughs> um, we came to hang out here for alice's birthday um there's some cute little planters around here as well sort of giving like green greenhouse vibes um a begonia i mean it, it seems to have pretty rare flowers here which is quite cool because i feel like when you look in the environment like it's quite hard to find some stuff sometimes there's a cow plant a pomegranate tree oh that could be handy an apple tree a pear tree and a cherry tree it's all very cool i think there was one more place in newcrest that i wanted to check out i can't remember what it was Oh, was it the breadsticks restaurant? Oh yeah, I think it was. I feel like I want to check out the breadsticks restaurant. Wow, straight away I'm like, this looks so cool. There's lots of trees and other buildings in the area, so let me like, 
adjust my camera mode a bit but how cool does that look you can totally see inside from like the conservatory area there's like skylights i feel like the roofs look really cool which is maybe an odd detail to point out but they've got lemon trees apple trees and pomegranate trees in the garden as well i love the conservatory with the skylight and everything oh it just looks so cool okay let's see what they've got um she's using the debug lights which is pretty cool I think because I think they're quite bright and they don't like show um, oh my goodness what's this <laughs> it's like a random room with a don't fear the ream renopa <laughs> that's funny that's like the reaper but a gnome as well <laughs> that's so funny like little cute things like that I love um, just to find these random details um, but I think this looks like a really fun place to bring your sims i wonder i really want to test it out and like see if the gameplay is functional in restaurants it can be quite glitchy and stuff but i hope it works well um so i hope you enjoyed today's video i'll link uh Cindy's tumblr where she's got the download and the description and everything down below um and i hope you have a lovely rest of your day bye bye